All right, guys, as you can see, look at this. This is what I'm after. This is what I'm after. Look at the juices. Look at that smoke ring. This is what I'm after right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. You know how long I've been waiting for this? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on today's episode, we got something special smoking right there in that Pitfalls Pro Series 850. Oh man, I am telling you that aroma that's coming off the chimney right now is making my mouth watering. So, but before I get to that point where I reveal what's inside of this beauty right here, when you think of a true barbecue dish, besides ribs, brisket, chicken, sausages, or pulled pork, or pork period, what do you think of other than that? The king of all kings. When you go to a barbecue restaurant, you think of nothing but these beautiful things they got going on in here. Guys, if you're a true barbecue connoisseur, you're thinking about these Yabba Yabba Do Dino Beef Ribs. Oh man, I'm talking about the ones that's meaty. They got that big giant bone. And the ones that's nice and tender with nothing but beef flavor that's oozing out of them oh yeah baby that's what i'm talking about right there and matter of fact let's take a sneak peek because i gotta reveal this to you guys take a look at that guys i just placed these bad boys in here look at that Ooh, baby i don't want to lose a lot of that smoke and that heat so i'm gonna close that lid back up but guys oh man take this journey with me because i'm gonna show you how to do this from point a to point z let's go let's go and it's so so simple guys Power on open lid wait for rolling smoke to come on through rolling smoke close lid Crank temperatures, 250 degrees. Set temperature. A lot of temperature come to temp. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see we're at 251. We've been running steadily for the last 15, 20 minutes. And take a look at this beauty right here. Well, these two beautiful, sexy ladies. Look at that. Oh, man. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a lot of good marbling right around the edges. Oh, man. They are looking beautiful and gorgeous. Nicely seasoned. Oh yeah. So it's ready for these two beautiful ladies to go in here and get into the sauna full of beautiful smoke. Oh yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I got the, these two beautiful, sexy, beautiful beef ribs, dino ribs as I call them, right there in the center. And as you can see, I got the thicker side on towards my hot side. And I know I got the thicker side towards the cold side. But what I'm going to do is to switch these around and rotate them every so often so they can get an even core of that smoke and heat. Oh, this is going to be looking good. Let me close that lid because I don't want to lose any of that smoke flavor. And I don't want to lose that heat. So, guys, this is going to be amazing. Oh man, that smell, that aroma, that beautiful fragrance of smoke flavors. I got nothing going on but hickory wood right here. The hickory pellet wood that's going on in my hopper right now. Oh man, but guys, let's talk about a quick recap of what we had done so far. Man, we took these beautiful dino prime ribs and we rinsed them up from the sink. Got rid of any excess debris that might have been left over from the butcher shop. Man, Costco definitely uh, came through on this one. But before I talk about Costco and before I go any further, I got to give a big shout out to my boy, Paul from Paul's Q. Make sure you check out his channel right here and tell him that Rico sent you. Man, this guy does some, some phenomenal barbecue. He's the one who inspired me to do this channel. So, you know, thank you, Paul from Paul's Q, man. But continuing further, guys, with these prime dino beef ribs, all we did was kept it simple. We once since we rinsed them off, I pat it dry and I scored the fat cap. I did not take the cap, fat cap off because I want to have some fat to render down to keep it that extra. 
uh, the extra flavor, excuse me, to make sure they penetrate through the meat and keep it nice and moist. And so while I scored it, it's going to melt down perfectly. And I scored it in a diamond shape. Uh, man, this is going to be some phenomenal eats because I want to have that beef flavor shine through. And what I mean by that, guys, I just kept it simple with some Montreal steak seasoning. I didn't go above and beyond. I could have kept it with as simple as SPG, but I wanted a little kick from, you know, the Montreal area because why? Since these beef ribs came from Canada, I just thought let's keep it in the same country, keep it in the same lane. So guys, man, these beef ribs are going to be cooking at 250 degrees and we're probably going to wrap them up in some butcher's papers depending on how they, how they look later on. But they are smelling so good right now, guys. We're going to keep it at 250 degrees all the way through and man, that's going to be phenomenal. So guys, again, let's finish this video up and continue to take this journey with me to because I can't wait to the best part at the end of the day, which is the best part is what? The taste testing. Yes, sir. Oh, in between, guys, I'm going to spritz a little bit of beef broth in between just to give it an oomph and a little extra beefy flavor. And that's going to be all I'm going to do. Just keeping it simple and let the beef shine. Like I said, dino beef ribs. You can't go wrong with it. They are the king of all kings in regards to barbecue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've been running exactly about an hour at this point. We're still running at 251 degrees. Let's take a look at our beautiful beef prime dino ribs. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. They're looking amazing. Take a look at that color. It's only been an hour, guys. It's only been an hour. As you can see, we've got a little bit of pullback already on these bones. And I don't know if you can see that, but guys, right there, I got a little aluminum foil to prop it up to get an a, a even coating of a uh, layer of heat distribution. I just wanted to make sure that these dino ribs are getting just what they need, that beautiful smoke sauna. Wow. And what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I said earlier, got a little beef broth. Just gonna shake it up and just spray it. Spray it on the sides. Oh yeah. This looks amazing. So guys, all I'm gonna do now is just rotate this. I'm gonna switch this uh, Dino beef ribs, or oh, rack of Dino beef ribs to this side and switch this side to this side. And all we're gonna do is get an even distribution of that beautiful heat and smoke, guys. So I'll see you back on the next clip. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been another hour. Let's take a look at our beautiful prime Dino beef ribs. Take a look at that. You cannot tell me that does not look good. Oh, oh yeah. Take a look at that color, that mahogany brown. Yes, sir. We're nowhere near there where we wanted to be, guys, but woo, they are looking amazing. As you can see, we rotated earlier and about to rotate it back once again just to get another even coating of that smoke and that heat. But in the meanwhile, let's spritz a little bit more of that. Oh, man, beef broth just to give her another layer of flavor and continue to add more and more layers of flavor guys take a look at that that looks amazing oh man all right guys i'm gonna let this go for another hour i'm not gonna bore you with uh you know keep checking it each and every single hour guys we're gonna check it later on to see where we need to be um probably gonna wrap it in the next uh two hours uh with uh Butcher's paper, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm just looking to be around the temperature of 205, 207. And man, they are looking phenomenal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been exactly four hours. And at this point, we got to check to see what these beautiful dino prime beef ribs are looking like. Let's take a gander, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, y'all. These are looking phenomenal. You can bet your bottom dollar that these are going to be good. Oh, they are looking phenomenal, guys. You cannot tell me that they are not looking phenomenal. Oh, man. I think we are past the halfway mark, guys. I just want to take a quick gander in at temperature-wise to see where we're at. Let's go right here in the middle. 173 and climbing so let's just say 173 that's on the left side 178 so guys i'm looking for 179 
So I'm looking for a temperature of 207, guys. 205 to 207, and they are going to be done. So I'm going to let this continue to rock and roll without wrapping. I'm just going to rotate them one more time and uh, check uh, check back at, at you guys in a little bit because uh, whew, <laughs> we're almost there, guys. Just the waiting process is the longest time that kills me or every barbecuer that knows exactly what I'm talking about, guys. So, man, see you back in the next clip. All right, folks, as you can see, my sky is starting to turn black, and that's no bueno. And as you can see, I'm starting to rain a little bit here, and it just recently stopped. I had to crank up my temperatures all the way to 290 degrees, as you can see right there, and, and this is the seventh hour. So I just checked it about half an hour ago. And guys, this is also another update. I end up wrapping it up with some butcher's paper. As you can see right here, I got many holes. And like I said, I just checked it about half an hour ago and I was very close to the 205 target temperature that I'm looking at, what well, I'm looking for. So let's see, with my trusty thermometer, uh, let's see what we got. 208, all right, that's good. Let's see, let's go right here. 200, come on. Just looking for at least 205, three, all right, so that's close enough, guys. I'm going to pull these uh, beautiful Dino Prime beef ribs off, and I'm going to wrap it up with some beef towel, guys. I'm going to let it rest for a good hour, hour and a half, maybe two. And then uh, on the next clip is going to be the best part, which is going to be the taste testing, guys. Who can't wait. Finally, it's been a long day of smoking these beautiful Prime Dino ribs, guys. Oh, my God. And on top of that, it's been an hour and a half. That I've been waiting patiently and I cannot wait anymore. My mouth is watering for these bad boys to dive in into my stomach and man I'm ready for these things to be eaten. So guess what? I gotta get into it but before I do that I gotta do a quick recap. So let's get to it right now. Big big shout out to my boy Paul from Paul's Q. Link right here in the channel. Make sure you go uh, click on his channel and tell him Rico sent you. He's the reason why he inspired me to do my barbecue journey with this channel and be able to bring you these amazing ribs because he has brought them down all the way from Canada. And I just want to honor him and pay homage to him. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, Paul. So let's do a quick recap. So when we got these packages, what we did with these ribs, we took them out the uh, package itself. We rinsed them off to get rid of any excess debris that might have been left over from the packaging itself. I kept it simple. I didn't uh, cut off the fat cap at all. I wanted the fat cap to render down. So what I ended up doing is squirming the diamond shape just so it, that beef flavor can get enhanced with that beautiful fat cap, that fat that's going to equal nothing but deliciousness. So with that being said, all I did was keep it in the Canadian lane, in the Canadian country, and I didn't want to rear off course, so I kept it with some Montreal steak seasoning, so that way the beef can shine as well at the same time. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I kept the main brain left intact on the beef ribs, so that way these beautiful beef ribs can hold the shape and wants to do the cooking process. So, with that being said, when, with the cooking process, we kept it at 250 degrees for the first five hours. We also used hickory smoke, uh, put wood pellets in order to get that beautiful smoke flavor penetrated in here. Two, we spritz it every now and then with some beautiful beef broth, guys, to add another layer of uh, flavor and again let the beef shine. Three, oh man. So I got some alerts saying that there was going to be some thunderstorm coming. And as you can see on my very last clip, that the uh, skies are turning dark and man, that thunderstorm came and went. Oh boy. But during that whole process, I had to wait an hour and a half for these ribs to get done. But I end up wrapping them up in uh, butcher's paper so it can find and finish cooking uh, uh, at the uh, Pitbulls Pro Series 850. And I did crank the temperatures up to 290 degrees so we can finish them off. And the temperature we pulled them off, it was around 205. And uh, that was the perfect temperature. Now, now we got that recap done. It's time to get to the best part, which is the taste testing. So enough talking. Let's get that cutting. All right, guys, as you can see, beautiful. I'm gonna cut the biggest piece and then you can use the bones to guide you where to cut. And it's cutting like butter. Oh, that's what I'm after right there. That's the hallmark signature of some King of the Kings beef ribs, guys. And take a look at that. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh yeah. All right, guys, as you can see, look 
at this. This is what I'm after. This is what I'm after. Look at the juices. Look at that smoke ring. This is what I'm after right here. So guys, as you can see, my gloves, they're full of juices and oh man. And as you can see, it's pulling just like butter. Look at that. So it's time to enjoy the fruits of my labor of cooking and smoking for seven long hours plus an hour and a half of waiting. Here it goes. Cheers, everybody. Oh my God. It's literally melting in my mouth. Wow. Beautiful prime ribs. This is why we call it prime. And this is the choice of cut that you want to get for your prime ribs, guys. Oh man, I gotta have some more. This is wonderful. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. So guys, I gotta cut it short because I'm ready to eat. But this is how you cook some amazing, amazing dino beef ribs, guys. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed that. Comment down below how you let uh, how you make your prime ribs or your dino ribs in the comment section. So I look forward to see you guys on the next video. Until then, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Peace.